With Object 2 VR Studio, you can control both your camera and turntable, simplifying your Object VR workflow. In this tutorial, we'll go through the basic process of capturing. To start capturing, first connect both the turntable and camera to your computer via USB. Object 2 VR supports both Nikon and Canon DSLR cameras, along with a number of table manufacturers. Some turntables will require drivers, so be sure to download and install them. And once that's done, you should be ready to go. Open Object 2 VR Studio and choose the Capture Input option in the Input section on the main project window. But first, let's check out the interface. This section will show you the connected devices. Moving to the right are the project settings where you can define the number of columns and rows of the object movie and the project's file path. This will animate the turntable movement once the record button is pressed. And in the bottom half, this is where the preview image will be displayed. The red and green dotted lines are guidelines, and at the top here are controls for selecting images and viewing highlights and shadows. Under the Images tab is where the image series will be visible after capture. And finally, under the Log tab, you can see exactly what's happening. If something isn't working, then you'll see the error message here. So now, let's take some pictures. Make sure your devices are powered up, and they'll appear in the Devices section. Then hit these buttons here to connect them. Next, we need to do an initial setup under the Settings tab. The trigger section defines how the camera is fired. You can either use a USB cable and Object 2 VR will trigger the shutter. Or the trigger can come from the turntable, which is handy when the camera can't be fired with USB. And finally, you can choose to fire the camera manually, and you'll most likely want this option when you need to change the object in between shots. You can also change the delay before and after the camera is triggered, giving objects time to stop moving after the rotation. Now we need to choose how the images come into Object 2 VR. They can transfer over USB, or you can have Object 2 VR watch a folder for incoming images. Here you can choose to link to the image files, copy them, or to move them from the watched folder to the project folder. You can also choose to import the images manually. If interleaved is selected, then Object 2 VR won't wait for the image to download before moving on to take the next picture. In the camera settings here, you can see and change your camera's software settings. And of course, you might see different settings here depending on your camera. For the turntable, you need to first choose the correct serial port. And for most, you can use auto detect and then hit connect. If the wrong port was chosen, an error message will appear in the log. And that's it for the initial setup. Remember, you don't need to do this for every shoot unless you change your hardware setup. Now back in the Project tab, define the number of columns and rows you'll be shooting. To see the rows, just click on More Options. If your camera has a Live View option, you can hit this button to preview the image. You can use the Display Modes to help assist in getting good exposure. For instance, we can check our highlights. Unlike Photoshop here, red indicates nearly blown out whites, while the white areas are blown out highlights, exactly what you want for a white background and turntable. If all looks good, then you're ready to shoot. Just hit the record button to start the process. When it starts, you'll see the animation in the upper right part of the screen. The gray dot represents the turntable's position, and the red dot shows the next image to be taken. If you like to watch running logs, just go to the Log tab. In the meantime, grab a coffee. When the process is finished, the animation will say 100% and will have a ring of green dots. Go to the Images tab to preview the sequence. If an image needs to be retaken, for instance, the flash didn't fire, double-click the image, which will open the Preview tab, and then hit the Reshoot button. The table will reposition itself, and then the camera will fire. Now close the capture window and open the light table to make any final organization changes. If needed, move on to the Process Images tab to clean up the images, which we cover in another tutorial. And finally, output the project as HTML5, Flash, or QuickTime. And here's our example in HTML5. 
And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to check out our documentation pages for more on the capturing process. And thanks for watching.